Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Lord of the Fallen. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by two, so for me it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're gonna make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, window mode, I recommend to go with full screen. Don't use other mode. It's causing some stuttering. Resolution, make sure that you're playing native depending on your monitor. So if you're 1080p, go 1080p. If you're 4K, go 4K. Uh, resolution scale, if you don't, you don't use DLSS or FSR, go 100%. If not, it will be locked like this. Uh, I don't use the V-Sync FPS limit. I just go unlimited. Um, if you have uh, a, a laptop with bad thermals, make sure that you lock your amount of FPS with the amount of Hertz that you have for your monitor. So for example, 60 Hertz monitor, go with 60 FPS. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA card with RTX, for sure use DLSS. I really recommend to use the quality mode. Don't use other mode. Uh, they're pretty crappy. Uh, it looks very blurry, so quality. And sharpness is question of pre preference. I think by default it's at 0 0.3, so I recommend to go at 0 0.6, but again, question of preference. If you feel that your game is blurry, go higher. And if you have a 4000 series NVIDIA video card, for sure use frame generation. You can expect here 40% boost in your FPS plus another 20% boost if you activate DLSS, so you will have a nice 60% boost uh, if you're using the NVIDIA uh, DLSS. NVIDIA reflect low latency, make sure this one is at on. If you don't have an NVIDIA card or you have a Radeon, make sure that you're using FSR. Again, uh, same thing than the, the DLSS, make sure that you're using the quality mode, all the other modes. I feel like the game is very too blurry. And for the sharpness, you can adjust it like the one from the DLSS. After that, if you're still struggling with your FPS and you don't have DLSS or other technology like that, you can definitely uh, change your graphic parameter as you can see. So view distance is the first one. Um, view distance, I recommend to go with medium. It's a good balance. When you go at I and ultra, you will take your FPS. So this one will provide you a nice 8% boost. Shadow, I recommend to go with low. You can expect 15% boost over there. Anti-aliasing at low, the game looks very blurry when you're using at ultra, so I recommend to just lower it and you can expect 8% boost. Texture quality, uh, really depend on the amount of VRAM that you have. If you have 6 gig and more of VRAM, go with ultra, 4 gig high, 3 gig medium, and less than 3 gig, go with low. I'm gonna go back to ultra. Visual effect quality, I recommend to go with medium. You can run it easily. I just saw 1% difference between low and medium. So medium is a good balance. Post-processing quality, go with low. Better visibility. It looks very blurry at ultra and you can expect 6% boost over there. Reflection quality, uh, go with low. You will not necessarily see more FPS when uh, you just like, I don't know, playing the game, but it's more to stabilize your FPS. You know, you're not getting some random drops. Uh, so I really recommend to go with low or maybe medium. Really depend on, again, on your uh, type of computer that you have. Global Illumination, minimum go with medium. If you go at low, the game looks very flat, so I don't recommend that. Full Edge, same thing, go with medium. Not a huge uh, difference between low and medium in FPS. It's like one person, so good balance over there. And the three uh, last option, motion blur, film grain, and chromatic aberration, go with off. 
better visibility and uh, more FPS a little bit with the uh, chromatic aberration over there. Like 1%, it's not a huge deal. So this is pretty much it, guys, for Lord of the Fallen. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.